The Damara, also called as the Daman or the Damakwa, are an ethnic group who make up 8.5% of Namibia's population. They speak the Kwiko language, like the Nama people, and the majority live in the northwestern regions of Namibia. However, they are also found widely across the rest of the country. Genetic studies have found that Damara are closely related to neighboring Himba and Herero people, consistent with an origin from Bantu speakers who shifted to a different language and culture. Their name in their own language is the Daman, the Damakwa. Prior to 1870, the hunter-gatherer Damaran occupied most of central Namibia they used to practice pastoralism with sheep and cattle, but were also agriculturalist planting pumpkins, corn, tobacco. The Damaran were also coppersmiths, known for their ability to melt copper, and used to make ornaments, jewelry, knives and spearheads out of iron. The Damaran, just like the San, believed in communal ownership of land, meaning that no individual owned land as God had given land to everyone. Thus, rather than one person owning good grazing land, and another seeking out an existence, all would live in harmony. It was for this reason that many were displaced when the Nama and Herero began to occupy this area in search of better grazing. Thereafter the Damara were dominated by the Namakwa and the Herero, most living as servants in their households. In 1960, the South African government forced the Damara into the Bantustan of Damara land, an area of poor soil and irregular rainfall. About half of their numbers still occupy Damara land. According to written accounts of the history of the Damaran, which dates back to the leadership of the Damaras as far back as the 14th century, substantiated by archaeological and ethnological evidence reflected to those records, the Damaran next to the San are the first inhabitants of Namibia. Oral tradition has it that the Damaran came to Namibia from equatorial rainforest. The Damaran initially settled between Kunene River and Kavango River, before entering what later on centuries long after became known as Ovambaland. The Damaran moved southwards and were living peacefully as a single group in the area that is a stone's throw and an eagle's flight in the surrounding areas of Brandberg Mountain, Parisis Mountains, Waterberg, Omatako Mountains, Otavi Mountains, and Irongo Mountains. Oral and written historical records have it that intruders, reportedly under the leadership of a certain Mukumbi, invaded that area in 1600 and clashed with the Damaran. The Damaran dispersed in splinter groups as a result of the aftermath of this battle wherein the then Damara Gaob, King, Gaob Narimab succumbed due to injuries sustained in the battle. The Damara, besides the Gowanin, splinter groups then settled all over the country in areas where there was an abundant water and shelter in the form of mountains. Remnants of the group that was led by Gaob Narimab who dispersed moved eastwards and settled in the Gawas, also known Kalahari Desert, and got the name Gowanin, Damaran of the Kalahari. Another group fled to mountainous central Namibia seeking shelter in Comus, Comus Hockland, Eros Mountains, and Awas Mountains, and became known as the Komanin, Damaran of the Comus Mountains, later referred to as the Berg Damara. The group that remained in and around Erongo Mountains, and settled nearby present-day Okombahe, and got to be known as Damaran of the Orongo Mountain. There were also two other groups that moved down the Tsoaksub, Swakop River, and Kwiseb, Kwiseb River, respectively, namely the Tsoaksudaman and the Kwisedaman. Another group, the Gayodaman, moved towards the area of Omaruru and Parisis Mountains, and later on moved back to area west of Waterberg. During the 1904 wars with the German colonial forces, some members of the Gayodaman fled with the Ova Herero to Botswana, whereas some settled at Ugawa's in the vicinity of Hob, Waterberg Mountain. The major group of Damaras fled down towards the south as far as the Garib, Orange River, and settled in that area, and installed Gaub Gariseb as their leader. This group moved back northwards around 1670, and settled at Kanubes, where from they moved and split into two groups, one of which settled in the vicinity of Tsumeb, and the other one led by Gaub Narirab settled southeast of Ojituo. The latter mentioned group split up in four factions. One group moved to the Horuseb River and systematically down towards the Atlantic Ocean following the said river and settling on its banks, and they became known as the Naranin and Horusedaman respectively. 
The other group moved to the Sesfontein and was called by the name Juanidaman. The third faction moved towards the Brandberg and got the name Daredaman and Namidaman. The last faction moved towards Fransfontein. The Damara are divided into clans, each headed by a chief with a king and Justus Goroeb over the whole Damara people. Prince Haihab, Chief Zamseb and Guruseb were among the richest and most powerful chiefs. Damara males were not circumcised. However, groups of boys were initiated into manhood through an elaborate hunting ritual. This ritual is repeated twice for teenagers and grown men, after which the initiates are considered clan elders. Their traditional clothing colors are green, white, and blue. Green and blue identify the different subgroups. Some women may wear white and blue or white and green, the white representing peace and unity among all Damara-speaking people. The women's primary duty is milking the cows in the morning and nurturing the young. Men traditionally hunt and herd the cattle, leaving the village as early as the sunrise, patrolling their area to protect their cattle and grazing ground as tradition dictates. Men can be very aggressive towards intruders if not notified of any other male presence in a grazing area. Majority live in the small towns scattered across the Orongo region or in Namibia's capital city of Windhoek. Those that still live on farms tend to live in extended family groups of as many as 100, creating small villages of family members. The Damara are rich in cattle and sheep. Some chiefs possess up to 8,000 head of horned cattle. The replacement of animal hides with fabrics has also been visible in the Damara culture, as the aforementioned outfits are mostly worn to cultural ceremonies and on auspicious occasions. Thus, the Damarans sought for a perfect substitution for animal hides and introduced the Damarokoese, Damara dress. The Damarokoese was adopted from missionary wives during the 19th century and was introduced due to the Christianization of the Damaran as missionaries saw the animal hides as primitive and exposing. The Dama Kaib headgear is a unique innovation of the Damara women as they shaped a headgear that can be fashionable yet work effective as they still could carry something on head, water containers, and firewood. It is not only the headgear that is fashionable and work effective, but also the sleeves, as the sleeves have a protruding elbow design, allowing the elbow to contract and release without constraints. The length of the dress is also fashionable and work effective, as it is not too long so as to be caught by twigs, branches, and or thorns. Demara men, on the other hand, wear shirts, coats and blazers, with Damara colors being blue, white and green, sometimes with print or embroidery.